Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and start making layers so we can increase the amount of combinations that our collection can have. So let's start in the back, of course, in the background. And so we'll go to our background folder and inside that folder you see I only gave you one blue background or that's what we're starting with by the end of this video you'll have many backgrounds so let's go ahead and learn how to create the background one you can just take this background layer and right click and go up to duplicate layer and we'll just call it background color for now we're just going to uh, label it that and because we're going to go through and rename every single file before we deploy so now we're going to come over here to our paint bucket tool and we can just make this any old color that you want let's just do red and we can go ahead and hit that and now we have red okay so that's one way to do that another way is we can right click duplicate and we can go ahead and hit control U and that will bring up the hue and saturation and then we can change this any color we want we just did red let's do orange okay and we can make these duller if we wanted you know but for sakes let's do that uh, so we have orange and then we will do this again and we'll do it again and again and again until we have all the layers that we want so let's do yellow boom and duplicate and then we'll have control U and then we're gonna do green right now stay with me now the whole tutorial stay with me and you'll be able to deploy a collection control U all right now we have red orange yellow green let's do blue okay and uh, we, oh we did have a blue uh, it's a darker blue okay and then right click duplicate layer okay hit hold down control hit click on U, the letter U, and then we're going to do a purple that looks great all right and one more layer let's right click duplicate layer hit ok hold down control u and let's do pink boom okay so now just like that we have one two three four five six seven eight background layers all right <clears throat> so let's start the calculator off clean eight so we have eight so far all right now let's go to our characters okay so now that we have our characters this is one that I started off with that was called um, oh and let's label as we go now that we're doing all of this so it doesn't get out of hand let's label so this one so every folder needs to be labeled what you want the properties to be on that character for example we're back on open sea at the board ape yacht club and we can oh sorry we can go to this character and click on their properties and here you can see it says background right well over here on our Photoshop we have background and that's how we want ours to look when we deploy to open sea so these are their folders earring eyes fur hat mouth so our layers don't have to be exactly the same so our layers that I've given you inside this Photoshop file is background fur clothes head accessories mouth accessories and eyes okay so we're gonna go through and label now that we have the background we can see that on open sea their background is called aquamarine right aquamarine so we want our backgrounds to look uh, or to to coincide with the the same way so the way that you spell this will show up 
in the metadata on your collection. So you want to make sure it's all correct. So let's do that now. Okay, I've gone through and now I've labeled all of my layers for the background their color. So now that folder is done. We can close that up and you know, let's leave it on. Let's untick all of these layers and we're just going to work with this light blue one. Okay, so in the next folder called fur, which would be a category, right? A property on the collection on OpenSea, we have these five characters. I started with the blank ape and uh, I have the cheetah skin, the a white one, and a, uh, what is this? A DMT psychedelic one and a, what is this? A trippy ape? Trippy ape. Okay. So we're going to go through and label all of those and we're going to make more layers as well, right? So this one is, I would call him a golden ape, right? And that's going to be his name, the properties on that collection. All right. And so this one, we're going to have a cheetah print. So we're going to come up here and rename this guy. And we wanted to make sure all our capitals are correct. Uh, do I, so let's call it Cheetah Ape. Let's just say uh, the fur is Cheetah Print. Yeah, Cheetah Print's fine. All right. And so the next one is white fur oh okay so sorry so let's make sure that okay so instead of so when in the category um, so when I'm labeling those that wouldn't really sound good because if the fur is black and then you come over here and in our layers it says fur is golden ape that's gonna be weird so we want to make sure it's just golden right so the fur is golden uh, the fur is cheetah, not print. And then the fur is white, right? So the fur is, uh, what would we call this? DMT, right? That's I think what they did. And we'll call this one trippy, okay? So the fur is trippy, the fur is DMT, the fur is white, etc. So now let's make layers. So now we want to right click this golden fur, duplicate layer, and we're gonna change the color. We'll hold down control U and bring up the hue saturation. And now we can see, we can change this monkey's color. Some don't work. Look, it gets blown out because the saturation is too high. Maybe that's what you wanna do. Maybe you wanna blow it out and saturate it super high, um, but Let's see if we can get any cool colors out of this monkey without it being, you know, destroyed. So like, here's a blue one. Okay. And we'll go back to the golden monkey, right click, duplicate layer. So we'll go ahead and click okay. And um, we will hit, hold down control U and sorry you guys aren't seeing that oh i just realized okay so we'll hold down control u this window pops up and you can slide the let's go ahead and um, hide that layer and you can uh, go back to the golden copy that two and we can hit control u and you can see we can control the color of the ape so we just did the blue one and um you know we have the golden one uh and all these kind of i guess the purple one looks pretty good Boom. So now we have three layers of that. Boom, boom, boom. Right? And uh, I guess we could do another one. Let's try. Let's go back to our golden ape. Right click, duplicate layer. Okay. Oh, sorry. Let me do that again because that window is being hidden. So you right click the golden, golden layer, duplicate layer. Sorry, this window pops up and you click OK. And then you can see down here you have your copy. That's when we hold, hold down Control U and change the hue and saturation. And we'll see if we can get a blue one out of this. Uh, it's so blown out. So gray. No. 
So the blue's not really working. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe a red. We can totally get a red one out. So now we have a red one. And um, I couldn't really get a blue one. So we'll move on. So now we have one, two, three, four of those layers. And we will un we'll hide those. Go ahead and open up our cheetah layer, select him. We'll unhide him and select him. And again, let's right click, duplicate layer, hit OK, and control U, and we'll change the hue. Now this is sick. All right, so let's just go through these and make a couple colors of all of these as well. All right, so let's do another layer, right click, duplicate layer, um, and let's hold down control U. And we just did a red one. Let's do, uh, this orange one's pretty normal. And okay, let's hit the saturation up super high on that guy. And that's really yellow. Uh, let's go green. Man, that is really green. So the saturation uh, can really bring out the color in your layer if you want it to be super hyper. And I really enjoy some of those hyper colors. So we just did a green and we have teal and blue and purple. We got all the ones that we need on that. Um, so I'm gonna delete that last layer that we just did. All right, so now you can see we have the normal cheetah, a green one, a red one, a purple one, a blue one. We have this white one. And if you look, the difference between the white one and the uh, cheetah is the white one has whiskers, right? And the golden one does not. So we can, um, Come back up to the white one and you can do more you can go ahead and duplicate a layer of him and make you know hold down control u and make you know a, a blue one of this guy bring out the saturation you know bring out bring that out and then do one of that layer as well um let's hit, hit control i and that's inverted so you could do all kinds of stuff control u and look at flick through all the colors of inverted Okay, control Z, get back to normal. You know, you could do another layer of that guy, okay? But since we have a lot of these other ones that are really similar, and the only difference is this scruff on his face, I'm only gonna do two layers, all right? So next, let's do the D and T layer. This is a really cool one, so let's go ahead and see what inverted looks like. Oh man, that's weird. Not my real, I'm not really too into inverted stuff, so let's keep going. Um, let's see here. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go to our DMT layer. Go ahead and right click, duplicate layer. Okay. So we duplicated that layer. Let's go ahead and hit down Control and U. And now we can change the color of this guy. Oh man, that's sick. Oh yes, please. Super rad. All right, so let's do this a couple of times and see exactly what all we can get out of this image. Oh man, sick. Okay, and one more uh, just to see what we can get. You know, you don't have to go crazy and make every color and you know, if it looks cool, oh man, super rad. Oh yeah, right there. Um, okay, so we got those layers. You know, you don't have to kill it. You can just, you know, as, as long as you get your numbers down, you're gonna be fine. All right, so trippy layer, let's duplicate this as well. So, control U. Oh man, just all kinds of trippy. Beautiful. Let's do another one. Duplicate layer. Okay, hold control U. Let's go this direction. Oh man, sit on it sideways, that is slick. All right, so now we got all that. Don't forget, hit Control S, save your work. You need to save all the time. God forbid you start losing some of the stuff you just done. Okay, so now we have all of our layers, I'm done. All right, so let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 freaking layers. So let's come back to our calculator 
and multiply that eight backgrounds times 18 layers is 144 combos so far. All right, let's keep going. 